March 4th. This is my fourth week since post sciatica. I did the first week, the first two weeks, I did full body uh, for five days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Full body. Saturday and Sunday I rest. Then on Monday, I start all over again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, full body, for two weeks. The following week, which was last week, I did, um, I sort of split the workout. I did, uh, uh, I think, legs on Monday, Tuesday, chest or back, Wednesday, leg again, Thursday, um, chest or back, whatever I didn't do on Tuesday, I do on, on Thursday, and uh, Friday, I think I did skip Friday where I was supposed to do full body, but things came up, uh, I didn't go, and today, I, I was supposed to go, I didn't go also, because I have a couple things to do, and I decided, I have some time now, so I decided to make this video, um, so last week and this week, I did Monday, legs, Tuesday, chest or back, Wednesday, leg again, Thursday, chest or back, which yesterday I did, uh, I did chest and I also include uh, my arm, biceps, triceps and things like that. So now I'm doing a small progress review of myself and I think I have a couple of other videos of those two other weeks where I was trying to see where I you know, my body were, was um, since I uh, was sick and I did lose some muscle mass. So here I'm just doing a small review and see how my progress I've been. And so far I've seen it, especially my legs because I worked it a lot. I've seen a couple um, muscle tone having um, gotten better. but. The weakness is still there. I'm not saying my leg is 100%. I'm talking more in terms of muscle tone and definition. Um, my leg uh, looks stronger and it's starting to get stronger, but my joints, my ankle, uh, my knees are not that great. But muscle tone wise, they're doing good. There's my leg and it's not getting too bulky, but it's just getting very well defined in my view. That's what I'm trying to chase. So my weight has gotten better, but my abdominal has decreased because I can't really do good, uh, good lateral raise, um, not lateral raise, uh, leg lifts to work my lower abdominal. So it's a bit chunky. It's not that horrible, but it's good. And my shoulders, as you can see, it's pretty in shape. It's, it's good. I like the way it is. It's not too bulky. It's just, I think, there's always room for improvement. But so far, it's not that bad in terms of my chest. Abs is okay, but there's still some, I know, it's not that horrible, but, you know, there's still some stuff that uh, needs to be worked on. Chest. I worked chest yesterday, so it's okay. Um, actually, I'm feeling the pain right now. There's like uh, some soreness up here. So anyway, this is the progress sensible sciatica. And I think my uh, keeping up with my workout is good. Um, ankle is getting better. I'm doing more of uh, body weight before I do any other weight weighted exercises. So I focus on the joints and uh, the calf areas, the back of the leg, hamstring. I really focus on that when I work on my legs. Um, and one thing I do before I start doing um, squats, I'm doing squats again now. So I started with, um, with static, where I, I'll do a couple of repetitions where I'll be like that against the wall, sit as long as I can. The longest that I uh, was able to do 
with my back against the wall like this, I think I stayed for a minute and 30 seconds. And that really worked the quad and the core. I have to keep that tight so that work. And then I will do a couple sets where I move away from the wall and I'll do a couple, couple uh, squats, uh, static squatting without leaning my back against the wall. And I will stay like that for as long as I can. I think the longest I stayed like this, I think was a minute and 13 seconds, the longest. Um, only the first ones, usually I stay longer. But as I continue, I, you know, my legs, my quad gets tired. And this past Wednesday, I included a squat on the basu ball. The basu ball is uh, uh, half, uh, one side is flat and the top is like a ball, half ball. So I'm trying to um, increase my stability, mostly for the ankle. <clears throat> so I'll stay on the basu ball squatting like this for as long as I can. I think the longest I stay on the basu ball was uh, I think 53 seconds. That's after I did this against the wall and away from the wall and then put the basu ball and I did couple sets like that. And so on the basu ball, I stay 53 seconds, the longest. So that's my progress. Um, next week, I start a new split. Um, so far, it's been a month since I started going back to the gym. Um, I've, uh, my upper body was never a problem. It's just my lower body because the, the sciatic pain was pretty much focused on my lower part, my left leg. Um, so that's where what my weaknesses were. And uh, I, it's like I started all over again at the gym. And... Uh, I think I put one video where I was able to record myself at the gym. I did one video of some, not all, some of the workout that I did uh, to warm up. Um, some of the uh, form rolling and I was able to do uh, one set of leg lift. I think I did two but I record one and uh, the, peop the gym started getting packed. As I go along, so I wasn't able to record. I really didn't want the gym people uh, to tell me anything to stop recording. So um, when I start seeing a lot of people, I just put the camera away. Um, so I was able to do a couple of new stuff. So next week, I always have the camera in my bag. If opportunity comes, and I'll you know, there's not a lot of people, I'll take the camera out and record whatever I'm doing. But I'm not going to stop my workout to record. So only if the opportunity comes, I'll do it. Um, again, next week, I'm going to start a new split where for one week, I'm going to work uh, a body part. The following week, another body part, and so forth, so on. So I'm going to start next week. I'll see how my chest is. I have to start with an upper body because if I do legs, it's going to interfere with the uh, sequence uh, where one week upper, then lower, and then upper. So I probably will start with an upper body, either chest or back. So I probably will start with back for one week. I'll do all the exercise that requires for the back, and then and I might include some um, biceps and triceps while I'm doing the back and some shoulders and then the following week I'm gonna do legs the way that I'm thinking of doing legs for that particular week where I'm gonna start with uh, the ankle area I'm gonna find different exercises to strengthen the ankle and then the, a day after I'll work my uh, my calf muscles and then I'll work up where I'll work my hamstring and my quad. And then I'll work my inner thighs. That will be for the whole week. I'm not going to work the entire legs for the, uh, you know, every day for the week. So one day at a time, I'm going to focus on one particular part of the legs, which will help me uh, find any, uh, I already know my ankle is the main problem. Uh, more to focus on it 
instead of trying to do all the legs areas so I'm gonna pick point different lack uh, weaknesses of the legs to work and I already know here um, how do you call it, area crest or whatever it calls um, of that joint is a problem also so I'm gonna start with the ankle and work up for the entire week and hopefully that will help strengthen the legs a bit more then the following week I'm not gonna touch the legs at all just to walk to get to different places um, I'll work another upper body part either chest depend on what I didn't do you know the week prior um, either chest or, or back and then um, I'll try to focus yeah and then the last the last uh, part of the one week, uh, one body part per week, I'll focus on abdominals only. So every day that I go to the gym, I'll just do abs. I'll do crunches, side crunches, uh, cable, chops, you name it, I'm going to do it for the abs for one week while the entire rest of the body is resting. And then the arm and the shoulders will be incorporated when I do the parts of the upper body. So that's the plan. And so far, um, I'm feeling good about uh, my progress, and the uh, leg is still a problem, but it's not exactly where it used to be. It's m way much better. It's not 100%, it's much better. And occasionally, I do feel statics on my legs. And uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I hope my experience, my sciatic experience actually helped some of you. Um, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I just uh, document my experience and hopefully that could help you. Again, thanks for watching.